So I live in your state. I live in the 8th Congressional District. and A um, wonderful district. A wonderful right, district. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm very fond of. And we're going to have a new representative, uh, Jamie Raskin, uh, come next year. But there will be no female in the entire Maryland delegation. You know, so it's can a, you I say think, something about that? Well, I think that's a real loss to us. I think Jamie Raskin is going to be wonderful. Um, but uh, Kathleen Matthews, of course, uh, would have added uh, a woman to a delegation that, since I've been in Congress, has always had at least a woman. And in fact, uh, I was served when we had half of the delegation were women. We had a woman senator, uh, and so one of two, and we had four women uh, members. Uh, and so uh, that's a shame. I think it's a, it's a loss for us. But uh, to uh, what do you attribute that? How did how did well, we I go think from half the delegation to none? Well, I think we had our women members leave, and and uh, either in a primary or in a general and lose to a male. I mean, the, the voters uh, selected. What well. should we be doing about that overall? Not so much race by race, but well, there Maryland, must be something that's not happening. Maryland has been very supportive of women. I think it's just a happenstance of electoral politics uh, that uh, uh, it just so happens now. As I said, over 50% of our delegation, five of the 10 members at one point in time that I've been serving for a significant period of time were represented uh, by women, so we were 50-50, which is better than uh, almost all other delegations that have more than three or four members. Um, but it's just a, it's a happenstance of electoral politics. It is, okay. uh, so, but hopefully uh, women, uh, very qualified women, are going to continue to run, and I'm sure they're going to be elected.